Hello, in this video, uh, we're going to have a quick look about the ICP BP 15.1 for NetWeaver based on Microsoft CP Server. Okay, uh, as you know already, uh, the ICP BP 15.1 has two versions. One is for the kernel, we call it embedded, and the other one is based on the Microsoft CP Server or other traditional database, the standard one. Okay. Actually, you can install both standard and embedded on the uh, HANA platform. Uh, but for this video, we focus on the uh, standard one on the Microsoft CP Server database. Okay. Uh, let's go to the sys. I have a quick look about the uh, the uh, software component which has been installed on this system. All right. So as you can see here, we are on the SCP BW 7.4 Super Pack 10. And also, if we move to the uh, BPC, we are on the BPC Super Package uh, 2. Okay. So let's move a little bit forward. See, this is Super Pack level. All right. So BPC 10.1 SP2 and SCP BW 7.4, and it's based on SP10. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, logon screen so that uh, we can log on to the uh, web client, all right? So the same interface, but it would uh, be the IML file, all right? So you're gonna feel the difference between the 10.1 and the 10. So you can also check 10 in my previous video. So the 10 is based on the, you know, the flash, and this 10.1 is based on HTML5, right? So the interface is uh, slightly different, but if you are used to the 10.1, should not be a problem for you to get used to the new interface, right? And you can move on the, on the right side, I mean, on the uh, bottom right, you have the uh, uh, option to manage all the environment. Once you install the BPC soft uh, web component, you will have a default environment. Okay, so this is the default one. This one is for the RFRS, you know, the start kit. Because once you have installed the start kit, you, you have this environment installed for you. And the benefit for the start kit is that it has allowed to the, you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, dimensions, uh, the uh, models, and also allows the script logics so that you can use as like a, a reference and you can use also use like, uh, like a proof of con concept to start your real development or real business case, okay? So here you can choose to manage all the environment to choose which one is online, which one is offline, and which one is connected, all right? So I'll just close this one. And here you can choose, uh, okay, uh, choose the uh, EPM office add-in. So because I'm on the Chrome, it's not well supported. You see, I don't see the, uh, EPM in the Microsoft Office, I have to install it. Now let's switch to the uh, IE, Microsoft Internet Explorer. Close this. Okay, now let's log on again, but now we are on the Microsoft Internet Explorer 11, right? So here you're gonna see the EPM adding for Excel, for Word, and for PowerPoint. Right, so it's quite similar as before, but just different place to see this. Right, and this here you can see the old activities, and also this is a consolidation. You know, this uh, a monitor navigation, so you can see the consolidation monitor, and also control the uh, uh, the journals and ownership manager if you want to run the uh, consolidation. Right, so here is the. Uh, administration. So you have all the administration tasks 
to be performed under this this tab, right? So the dimension, the model, the the security, you know, everything related to the administration, and you can uh, configure here. Okay, um, this is the system report. And you see the BPF security audit, so you know the comments and the work is data. So you have the the uh, the reports running and this page, and the last one is the document. Okay. So now let's just start a very simple um, test. So we just want to input some data, and then we're gonna show those data in the report on the web console report, right? So in order to input some data, let me go to the uh, uh, Excel, right? The uh, BPC editing for Excel. As I have already mentioned before, I have already installed the uh, uh, RFRS, the start kit, so that we can leverage the model and the uh, pre-delivered report or input, uh, input uh, form, right? So let's choose the consolidation. And here you go to the EPF. You see this this uh, this button. Uh, it's it's the uh, delivered by this uh, EP, uh, EPF BBC adding for Microsoft the Excel, right? So now let's go to this open one and I choose the open serve input for folder because I want to leverage the a pre-delivered import uh, import form. Okay, so I choose this import form. I choose the first one, the balance sheet. Now let's double click. Okay, there we go. So this is the pre-delivered import form balance sheet, right? So you see, this is the uh, the filter for the the uh, the dimension and see uh, this some like data you can input and you for now i have not made any change for this pre-delivered input form i would just simply input some figure right so for example i choose this input i just put 10 and this local adjustment i put like right so let's just click right so then i just simply Click save data, right? If you click save data, there's pop up. Two data records will be sent. Do you want to continue? Yes. So now this pop up is to show you that the two records have been written to the database successfully, right? Let's click OK. Now, you, you, if you click the refresh button, you're going to see the data has been um, saved successfully, right? And if you go back to the back end system, so this consolidation, that this queue is corresponding to the uh, consolidation model you created, actually it's pre-delivered by SAP in our case, uh, in the BBC web console, right? If you re refresh, you're gonna see this is the yellow, this is writing uh, request, which is corresponding to the input from either the uh, excel or the uh, the web count all right so you can also simply click the content choose in, in, in group cube content and if i choose all the characteristics okay so you're gonna see um the two records we just input okay so this is the record and this is rather like uh you see this is like offer set for the minus one, but here we put this to one, right? And now, um, if you want to see this rec uh, two records in the web kind, uh, we can go to the library and we can go to the input form. And because you have two ways to input one from the uh, BBC Excel editing and the other is from the web import form, right? So let's try from the web input uh, for this time to see the data we just input. And I just drag and drop the, the count and then flow and audit trail is actually the same uh, layout as this one, 
right? See here, we have a count in the row and we have blue as all these two in the color. Let's do the same, right? And also you're gonna see um, both the uh, select me uh, members for this account, right? If you click, you're gonna see this one, uh, this select members, right? And if you click this one, you're gonna see this open and close. If you click this one, you're gonna see it's all local input. So we just choose the same one, okay? Otherwise, we would not be able to save it. Um, I choose open and closing this. Like we can search this open, right? Okay, let's go to the audit trio. Uh, it's all the okay. Here, we just click OK. Yeah, this is a report we just created, but unfortunately, we don't see the data, then there should be something else we need to uh, to adjust, right? So let's go back to the Excel. So let's see, uh, the version is actual, and this, oh, the tab is December 2020. Okay, let's compare. So version actual, the tab, okay, the tab is different, right? So if you want to save data, because the data was saved, and uh, December 2020. So if you want to see that, we have changed it to December 2020, all right? So, okay. So still, there's no data. And uh, let's do a further check, all right? So and this is the consolidation building and uh, let's see the flow is closing and opening. So let's see what other dimensions we have, right? Get to this. Not consolidated. This is local currency. Actual. Let's refresh again. Okay. So now we have data here actually. Yeah. So it's under the opening and it's all local input, right? So 30 is 10 and 20. Right, so um, yeah, if you move it a little like this way, it's much clearer. Okay, so you see the data. Okay, but so far you have noticed that we have to manually change the context, like for the time, right? So then we can see the data. So in another way, you can configure the default. Uh, select members for this input form so that you don't have to manually adjust it uh, uh, when you create a new input form. So if you configure the one tab, then all the default value will be shown uh, automatically when you create a new form. Okay. Uh, so where you can, uh, where you can, uh, where you can configure those default value is under administration, and you see the feature. That's the model and dimension default. So here you can choose which model you want to set as default model. So here we set the consolidation as default model, right? So if you go to the dimension, the default members, you see here this member for reporting because we just created the input form. So we can choose the member for input, right? So here we are all good. We just go to the time, okay? So you see this, um, the default member for time is December 2015. So we want to change it to December 2020, right? So choose here, and we just click this and click yes, okay? And now um, we just go back and try to create a new input form, but this time, the tab should be set to December 2020 instead of December 2015, right? Let's see. We just do the same account in the row and flow and uh, audit in the column, right? Click OK. But 
here, as we can see, the tab is not changed to December 2020 according to what we just configured in the, uh, the default member for the uh, dimension, right? So sometimes it happens. We can solve this like uh, log off and log on again. Okay, let's try log off. And let's log on again. So now try again to choose the input board. Let's pay attention to uh, the type default member, right? So actually you can see here, it's already changed, right? So before we before we log off, the default member select for time is December 2015, right? And after I log off and change the default value, it changed to December 2020, right? So now let's do the same again. The flow, I just choose, we can choose either search this, um, the description or the ID, right? ID. And audio trail, I choose all log. So here we can see the data. All right, so but this time we don't have to manually change the tab, uh, the member of the tab, right? And finally, you can see this, um, this like, uh, this input form has like whatever name you give, right? So yeah, I choose. Okay, so now, so our tab, you can go to your library, go to the public, and open the value sheet, uh, the input form you just saved. And definitely, you can change the data here and, you know, um, input the data again. Okay, for example, here, I choose this other one. And now here you have the save data, right? Okay. So, so the report has been refreshed. That means the data has been saved to the, the database, okay? So here, we just show you how to input data from the web console, right? The web input form. And um, at the same thing, you, if you go back to the, the Excel editing, if you choose refresh, you're gonna see the two data we just input, okay? But now you see the the, the, the value under the closing is empty, right? If we refresh, you're gonna see the data we just input. See here? There you go, okay? Okay, that's all for uh, today's session. And in the future, uh, I'm going to show you how we run the ICP BPC 10.1 um, based on the HANA platform. Okay, thank you for watching.